Hello again, everybody. I'm back again. Uh, somebody in the comments of one of my videos today, I forget. Uh, I think it was the one under uh, the Celeste Solemn video. Uh, said to go to a, a find Anthony Patch. I'm pretty sure that's what they called it. Um, yeah, if you want to understand the hydrogel and the vax, find Anthony Patch videos. He explains it all, but they are long. Okay, well, I just typed in Anthony Patch, and I found this short one that's 9 minutes and 6 seconds. And it was put up by Kat Wren, K-A-T space, Kat, that's a capital K, capital R-I-N. All right, Cat Wren, mirrored from Nicholson, 1968. Oh, that's unbelievable. I mean, this was put up July 7th, 2020. Okay, now think about Daphne's dream. Five-year-old Daphne. She said they were putting virus in the food okay what do they put in a vaccination the virus a uh, uh, supposedly deadened virus to keep you from getting it they put enough and sometimes they're live but it's supposed to be such a small amount it gives your body uh, immunity to it <clears throat> all right this particular video by Anthony Patch, it's called Anthony Patch Interview about flu shot vaccinations, third strand DNA. Um, I'd, I'd like to play a little bit of it for you. And you think about what Daphne said. All right, I'm going to try to move forward to the part where he talks about disease, if you will, which is really a man-made disease. It's the average person hasn't heard this before, but this is nothing new. Okay, I'll start here. But let's go beyond the rabies. Let's talk about um, people getting flu. He was talking about how rabies was in people, and there's no treatment for it. You know how a dog acts? When he gets rabies, all they can do is shoot them and put them down because they'll bite whatever's in their way. Okay, and they were discussing, talk about zombie apocalypse. All right, I'll think about that for a minute. And Daphne's dream saying the food was turning them into zombies. Okay, now listen to Anthony speak. We're getting a you know, avian flu inoculation. There is another very insidious disease, if you will, which is really a man-made disease. It's a biological construct called MERS coronavirus out of the Middle East. It's the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Um, it's made its way into Europe to a certain extent, and eventually, because of you know air travel, it will reach around the world. Um, it's another example of where inoculations or, or vaccines are being derived, or they're trying to derive for. Um, that, again, I always like to go all the way to the end. What's the purpose? What's the goal? If you have a man-made, a man-made or engineered virus, why was it created? Is it simply just to kill people? Well, that's one part of it, but if you go further and you go deeper than that, it is to get people to demand a vaccine, a shot, if you will, or a pill. Why would, if you're in a position of control, and of power, of ultimate power, why would you want people to demand a vaccine? Well, it's because something's in the vaccine that you want people 
to then have as a part of their body. Well, what is in the vaccine that you want everybody to have inside their body? It is a DNA manipulator or modifier. I mentioned earlier third strand DNA. There is already, you can find this on the internet, um, in existence, a third strand of DNA constructed of silicon. Again, we go back to the silicon chip in computers. The third strand is made of silicon. It is also coated in gold. If you talk about nano technology and nano layers, this is extremely thin coating of gold down to a billionth of a millimeter of gold that is coating the silicon from which you are building What's the goal. What's the purpose? Yeah, you go around and change everybody's DNA. Well, what do they become? They become a hybrid. The insidious part of this is that once a person is injected, almost immediately their DNA undergoes transformation. Almost immediately they lose all awareness of the fact that they've lost their independence, their ability to think on their own, to make decisions on their own, and to affect them on a moral level, their moral independence, their beliefs, religious, moral, ethical, legal, all of those go away. Okay, I'll just stop it there. I played maybe three minutes of that, and it's a nine-minute video. And the rest of it is real good, too. And, and this man, he just sounds like he knows what he's talking about. I've never heard of him. There's one over here, Anthony Patch interview, Trump's visit to Saudi Arabia by, by L.A. Marzulli. It's three minutes, 46 seconds. So if you just type in Anthony Patch, you can get find more. All right, so I'm just going to uh, put the link to this video in the description box. Uh, but for those who can't read the description box, again, the channel is Kat Rin, K -A -T -A -T -A space R-I-N. And it's called Anthony Patch Interview About Flu Shot, comma, Vaccinations, comma, Third Strand DNA. This thing only has 112 views and 7 thumbs up. It probably sounds just a little too far-fetched for most people because their eyes are not opened. I'm surprised it doesn't have any thumbs down, though. I'm going to like it. Um, maybe it's because it was mirrored. Um, I don't know. There's just two comments. But... Uh, I was surprised to find that it said mirrored from Nicholson 1968. Now, that doesn't mean it's from 1968. That could be his channel name. Maybe that was his birth year. Okay, that's possible. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to end this here. And um, that helps explain a lot. Putting a virus in food... The fast food. What if they're putting? What if they put rabies into fast food? A little here and a little there, and I don't know. I probably wouldn't take much. I don't know what she saw that she meant garbage, unless it was that lettuce and tomato mixture. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes I guess it could look like that, but Chick-fil-A is pretty much known for its good food. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's her dream. That's what I believe the Lord gave her. It, it, probably a, a food restaurant that she was familiar with. Anyway, um, I'll let you go with that, and I will talk to you later.